Hey, this is Pete Madsen, and I'm here to teach you a rumba style uh, blues in the key of E. Uh, so the, the the song I've created, or the four verse uh, blues I've created, is is basically it's a 12 bar blues key of E, and it's based on a few different players' styles of playing. Number one would be uh, Snook Eaglin, who was a New Orleans uh, player. Um, not that well known, but uh, he definitely played in a New Orleans style, kind of, he had a very Caribbean sort of influence stuff, and that covers sort of like the main groove, which we'll get into in just a minute. But uh, I'm also taking things from players like Freddie King. He does these little six things, as you know the song Hideaway. <laughs> things like that. So I'm using those six uh, intervals. Uh, and also, I threw in a little bit of William Moore um, later on. I'll show you uh, in the well, one of the later verses. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. So we, we're in the key of E. E, A or A7, and B7. And to start off with, the groove I'm establishing here is based on a rolling uh, technique. Where I am starting with playing the sixth string on the E chord and then I let my index middle and ring fingers which are playing the third second and first string roll through uh, through these notes sort of um, they're not all it's not like a strum and it's not but so if you think of like something between a strum and a picking of the strings it's more of a, of a roll and the way I do that is um, with my thumb and three fingers in contact with the strings I'll play that sixth string with my thumb and then as I play the top three strings I just turn my wrist outwards this to like turning a doorknob or, or, um, or twisting a, a top off of a jar. So it's a roll and that roll is punctuated by another bass note played on in this case the fourth string. And after that I'm playing this bass line Occasionally grabbing the second and first string. So roll, bass, pinky's got. I do have to do a bit of a stretch here, obviously. Grabbing the fourth fret on the sixth string. Then I'm going to play the bass note on the fifth string. Which, if you're playing an E chord, your finger's already there. My pinky reaches over to the fourth fret on the fifth string. The groove is, is reminiscent of like a rumba style groove. A little longer first beat, but da 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 da. If you think it's just a straight bass line, something like um, uh, Nut Hound Dog. You ain't nothing but a hound. You know, it's got that kind of feel to it. And that first verse, I play that pretty much that same thing three times. And then the fourth bar. And that's uh, not playing six, but it also kind of like a Freddie King, you know, sort of hideaway kind of lick. Uh, and that sort of punctuates that first four bars. Of E. Then I'm going to 
going to go to an A7. And instead of doing the roll here, I'm going to do... I'll play my bass notes. Trying to figure out how to explain this. I didn't work this one out ahead of time, but... I'm playing bass note, playing A7, middle finger, pull off, going to my next bass note to C sharp at the fourth fret, then the fourth string second fret, and I end up on the fourth string of the fourth fret of the fourth string with my seventh chord intact. Now, this, I've got two bars of A, so we're in a 12 bar, right? Four bars of the one chord, that was E. Two bars of the four chord. So this is the four chord. The next thing I'm going to do is basically outline an A7 chord or A9 chord. Um, you think of like your typical bar chord. Uh, and then you look at just the top four string. You have this nice little uh, shape, E shape, as it were, uh, chord chord shape from which you can create licks. Now, I actually, I should have added in the, uh, the pinky on the eighth fret. Going back to that E shape. There's an A7 chord. Basically walking through, there's the ninth, which is B. Walking down, that's the ninth, that's the root, seventh, fifth, major third, and the flat seven. Okay, so my A. Back to my E. And then another uh, little run here, which is more reflective of a Freddie King thing where I'm playing six. So I'm sliding into the fourth fret on the third and first string. Second fret. And I'm using, notice I'm using my middle finger and my third finger. That's the way I like to fret these six, at least when they're on the same fret. If they're on uh, two different frets, I'll use my index finger. But for this one, so that coming back to my E. Remember that hammer on, on that third string first fret. This is much like what I did with the A chord. Hammering on from a minor third to a major third. Classic blues move. If you don't know that one, you, you should. And uh, you will. Because <laughs> if you're playing blues, you can't avoid it. Um, then I'm going to go to my B chord. And for the B chord, I'm going to kind of divvy this up into two sections. The first one is just the regular sort of bar chords, like an A-shaped bar chord. And what I'm going to do is I move into the, the bass line, the walking bass line, is where my third finger is, I'm going to replace that with my first finger. And now I can walk that bass on the fifth string, sixth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, and fourth string, sixth fret. Whoops. And then I'm going to go back to my A chord, so five chord, B, four chord A, just slide my first finger down, and then just walking the bass down as I pluck the third and second string with my index and middle finger. And that's exactly what I did. As far as the right hand is concerned, that's exactly what I did with the B chord. Index, middle finger, playing the third and second string. Slide down to A, bass with the thumb. Index middle playing third and second string. Back to my E. And then just a regular old B7. You know, 
uh, I'm not even fretting the first string. Um, I'm only playing four middle strings, but regular old P7. And that should get you through the first verse of this rumba finger picking. Let me play it slowly. Uh -huh. 